chapter 16 of The Jungle, Yorgis lies in his cell in jail and considers the actions that put him there. At first, he feels proud to have gotten the better of Connor in the fight. As time passes, however, he realizes that his actions have surely sealed his family's fate. There's no way they can survive without his wages, and they will certainly lose everything. He wonders if anyone knows where he is, and if they do, will they even be allowed to visit him? When he hears church bells in the distance, he realizes that it's Christmas Eve. As the guards bring him his dinner, Yorgis curses his punishment, wishing he could be thrown on the streets, as his family will certainly be, and that his loved ones could be imprisoned instead. Life in jail is luxurious for Yorgis in comparison to the terrible way he's been living. He's given food and drink daily, dry, crusty bread, and drugged coffee to keep the prisoners quiet. He has a bed, blankets, both infested with bugs, and shelter from the cold. He's imprisoned, but feels free and somewhat relaxed for the first time in ages. Only anxiety about his family dampens his comfort but it really affects him. He remembers that it's Christmas Eve and prays that both he and his family will be delivered from their certain deaths. Upton Sinclair, who was highly critical of religion, provides no spiritual relief for his characters. There was no justice. There was no right. Only force. It was tyranny. The narrator jarringly closes chapter 16 with a poem about the futility of putting men in jail, where the atmosphere kills virtue and breeds evil itself. The poem, written by Oscar Wilde in 1898, clearly represents Sinclair's voice, 